Alright people, welcome back to some more card reviews. So, this video is super late, super late. I apologize people. I actually lost track of what day it was. I was like, oh yeah, there's already content going up. And I was like, wait a minute, isn't today Monday? I didn't record card reviews. So, yeah, I'm sorry that this is late. Life's just been so hectic and busy lately. I really uh, apologize that. I'm glad the channel is really simple right now. That way I don't have to worry about as much, but I should at least keep in mind that I still need to put up content every day, so I apologize. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to this card review today. I bet you were just sitting there being at 12 o'clock being like, where the hell is my card review for today? All right. Anyway, today we are looking at number 68. Ah, so close. Number 68, Sanafon? Sanafon, I guess his name? The Sky Prison? Okay, sure. So this is a... Another card in the Megatons coming up soon here in the TCG, and uh, it's one you get in one of the tens. I'm not sure which one, but you get it. So let's go ahead and look at the card and determine whether it's something that you totally want to get in the Megaton. So he is a Dark Rock XC effect monster, rank 8, with 2100 attack and 2700 defense. So the stats are fun. 2700 defense is, of course, a little bit bulkier, but you would expect that out of a rock monster. Uh, 2100 attack is a little low for, you know, a rank 8, but I definitely know that he does get a little bit stronger. So, he's generic. He's made with two level 8 monsters, so let's see if he is worth throwing into the level 8 pool, because the level 8 pool is pretty strong, I must say. You know, you got, you got, uh, Hope and Felgrand and, you know, that, uh, Dark Rebellion, Cypher Play, Full Armor, Cypher Blade combo. So there is some pretty good rank 8 plays that you can do. So let's go ahead and see if this is worth adding to your extra deck. So his effect reads, this card gains 100 and tap and defense for each monster in the graveyards. Yes, people, that's correct. Graveyards, both yours and your opponent. So while this thing is only, only 2,100, you got a couple monsters in the graveyard, both you and your opponent, and this thing can be stacked. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good, you know. So I, that's why I didn't harp on its attack or defense. And like I said if it started off at zero and you know gained 100 attack and defense, then maybe yeah, you know, no. Nah. But it already starts at 2100 attack on top of its boost that's it's gonna get from monsters in both players' graveyards. So I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. That's pretty good. So so far, if you need a beater at a rank eight, you know, there's something that you cannot attack over, which will be pretty difficult because I know at the rank eight pool you can just go into full armor with this four thousand. So if this thing can get higher than four thousand, maybe we could talk. Uh, but it has yet another effect as well. So once per turn, you can catch one Eximitro from this card until the end of your opponent's turn. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects, and also monsters cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. So, of course, this is a little preemptive. Uh, it'd be nice if this was during either player's turn and just attach an extreme material and then, you know, oh, this card can't be destroyed by card effects. So, uh, you know, you kind of have to think ahead of time, be like, all right, well, I guess I'll just do it now, and hopefully my opponent won't, you know, uh, if they do activate something that would show this card effect, it would be unaffected. Uh, and then the whole, uh, your mon uh, monsters can't be special summoned from the graveyard. That's a little interesting as well. So it's kind of like a pseudo rank 8 Abyss Dweller. Well, of course, Bruce Story just negates all the effects in the graveyard. This at least stops impressions. I mean, it's kind of like a little Necro Valley or something like that. It's not terrible. It really isn't. Uh, it'd be nice if it stopped all monster effects in the graveyard similar to this one. But it doesn't. So, uh, and that's pretty much it for this card. So, you know, it it's... Okay, it's it's a fine card. Like I said, if you can make rank eight, maybe throw in one. Like I said, uh, the base stats are fine. The additional boost is fine. If you can get it higher than full armor, then go ahead. More power to you. Or if you really want to make sure that monsters can't be special summoned from your opponent's graveyard, which is niche. But hey, if it works, it works. And the whole it can't be short card effect. Like I said, if this second effect was during either player's turn, I think it'd be a lot better. But hey, it's not. So yeah, it, it it's okay. This card's fine. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Like I said, I apologize once again for it being late. So, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. I'll be make sure that I'm going to stay on all the content for the rest of the week, especially since I'm going out of town. Like I said, I've just been so busy. Life has been so hectic. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, the subscribe button, bell for notifications because there's instances like this where you like to get notified when the video didn't go up at 12 and it's actually super late. So, 
uh, yeah. So thanks for watching the support, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, of course, on Wednesday with some more card review, and tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content, some Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play. All right, people, thanks for watching. Thank you.